Hello all, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a combo chart. A combo chart is basically a combination of different types of graphs. Okay, so here I have a data of the semester starting from fall 2022, summer 2022, and this is my teaching evaluation average, and this is school's average, overall average of all instructors. In fall 2020, I will be having 3.25 since this is future data so I just made up this data this is not a real data and schools average is 3.5 similarly I have for other semesters as well now I'm going to insert a column chart that would have like this so one with uh, my teaching evaluation the other one with the school's evaluation I could compare here that my teaching evaluation is lesser than the schools and here it's higher than the schools lesser than the school higher than the school you know but however this is not a combo chart okay so let's see how we would be able to develop uh, insert a combo chart for that make sure you select the data and then click on the columns go to more columns and able to see combo in your all charts. So these are recommended charts. These are all charts that you would be able to see. In this, you can see combo and click on that. And my teaching evaluation would be with a column and school's average with a line and click OK. OK, now you would be able to see this. And I would like to plot the data values here. So select one of those columns. It would select everything for you and then click on data labels and now you might have confusion whether the 3 or 3.25 is for line or column and you could see that uh, different options inside end or inside base would be good and having blue background black letters is a bad combination so you could select the data uh, values and do the white color so that you could be able to see the data in proper way similarly Select the line and insert your data labels. That way you could be able to see 3.25. Here, the school's average is greater than yours. So when, compared for, when you look at the spring 2021, your average is greater than the school's average. So that way you could be able to see um, the comparison of school's average and the teaching evaluation average uh, in a combo chart. So here you should notice one thing. Here, both the values are out of four. Both the values are out of four. So you don't have to work about that with the, another axis. And I would like to, you to show another data on my second sheet here. So I have um, sections, section one, two, three, four, and average grades of each section out of 100. So uh, section one got 66 average, section 275, 345 like that. And how many instructors are for each section? Okay, I have four, two, four, one, three. Okay, so here you should be able to see the difference. This is for 100, maybe this is for five. Out of five, I have this much data. Let's try to insert the data here using combo chart, select the combo, and you got this data and average grades is with the blue color column and the line is number of instructors. Here, this is this is a bad chart because you are unable to compare anything here, you know? So, I mean, you can compare, but uh, it's hard to visualize that one. So for that, what you need to do is you have to insert the column chart one more time or a combo chart one more time. And there is an option for you to select the axis here, okay? So I would like to have my number of instructors as a line, but I would like to see the secondary axis, okay? So click on that. Now you would be able to see the section one, two, three, four here. And the average of that is, you could make a note of that using data labels, okay? So it's okay if you don't put that because uh, the line is anyways, uh, up and below of that, above and below. And I would like to insert values of this particular data that would be four. And here, again, number of instructors are always the whole number. 
So I'm going to um, do the format axis and starts from zero to maybe if we have five, total of five instructors, let's use five as the highest value and each one should gap with one scale. Okay, so zero to five. So now you could see here, this is a combo chart with the secondary axis. Uh, here, you could be able to see four instructors. Whoever is having four instructors, their average class average is less. So maybe that's a bad decision to choose four instructors. Maybe let's come back or reduce the number of instructors there. You could uh, see the combination of chart, uh, two charts, one with column, one with uh, line and uh, two different axes, primary and secondary axis, okay? And th that axis is different for each uh, thing. And uh, you could always insert your axis titles on both the sides. It's always recommend to insert. This is with number of instructors. This is with the average of the grades, okay? So you have seen a combo chart with the one axis and a combo chart with the dual axis. Thanks for watching.